Hi, I'm Heinbach, and good to have you back. A while ago, I made a video on one of my most favorite instruments of last year, or shall I say, the past, the Princeton Applied Research 124A Lock-In Amplifier. Chris Randall of Audio Damage was immediately inspired by its massive sound and asked me if I could do a sound pack for Quanta, their granular synthesizer. And I said yes, and Audio Damage is also sponsoring this video. Thank you for that. Granular synthesis is something I've been fascinated with for a long time, and it was part of my master's at university. It came about in the 1950s when the Greek composer Yanis Xenakis was searching for a way to put his experiences in the post-war riots of Greece into music. A quiet street, an approaching march, on the other side police and military coming in, the clash of the two groups, the chaos, but how to put that to music. He came up with the idea of grains of sounds that could be arranged, put together and then dispersed again. A complex sound may be imagined as a multicolored fireworks in which each point of light appears and instantaneously disappears against a black sky. But in this firework there would be such a quantity of points of light organized in such a way that their rapid and teeming succession would create forms and spirals slowly unfolding or conversely brief explosions setting the whole sky aflame. A line of light would be created by a sufficiently large multitude of points appearing and disappearing instantaneously. If that doesn't inspire you to use granular synthesis, I don't know what ever will. Granular synthesis takes cues from quantum mechanics and Gaba's theories, but I'm not going to go into that into this video, because the focus is on sound design. Already over 15 years ago I've designed sounds for granular synthesizers, such as Crusher X, but there was always one big problem. Granular synthesis is very program dependent. That means it depends on what you put into the synthesizer. What's your sample source? So making a preset is a bit of a tricky affair, but Quanta has an easy way around that. So you can create presets that will work for everybody basically. So it's not the preset is already the full track, but it can be mixed with other instruments easily. Quanta is probably the most user-friendly granular synthesizer I've come across. The layout is nice and flat and you can recess it however you like, which is very helpful. Here's your sample window and you can throw in any kind of sample you like, even an mp3. You can have up to four envelopes that you can shape extensively and have different trigger options. Quanta has two independent LFOs with varying shapes and syncing options. And here you find what makes this seemingly simple synthesizer rather complex, the modulation matrix. Just click on any parameter you want to modulate and the modulation matrix view will jump to that and you can assign all the different modulations to that parameter. The sound engine is straightforward enough. Here's your output with the voices. Then you've got two filters which can be set in serial or parallel and have all these different modes. Basically, I think all that I would need. The grain section is of course the main part. You can set your amount of grains. You can set the length of the grains and you can set the window function. The window function will determine how the granular engine samples. You can choose different shapes and all of them will sound different. Uh, if you have got harder edges, you will get a sharper sound, more clicky. If you make it soft, those won't appear.
very much able to get different timbre variations just by choosing different windows. Here's the play direction of the grains. And then you've got a tune for the grains. Now here's the position from where in your sample that you throw up in this window, the samples will be taken. And here you've got a fine control for the pitch, width controls the spatial distribution of the grains, and here's the level. All these parameters have random modulation easily accessible, but of course you can also use the mod matrix. And you've got an oscillator and a noise in, which is very interesting, because this sidecar of oscillator and noise makes it possible to easily create sounds that will be in tune with everything else. Because you can tune each sample that you throw in here to the oscillator and that is an easy way to get presets that will work in arrangements and not just fill up the whole mix on their own. Because no matter how wild the samples are that you're processing, the sidecar oscillator always provides a harmonic background. The only thing I'm missing from the engine is a feedback control that would feedback the grains back into itself because you can get some beautiful and stunning results with that. But I talked to Chris and he might consider it for a future build. I designed these presets to sound good just while being played on the laptop. There are 20 sounds in the pack and it starts with the brightest day.
find the combination of the test equipment sounds with granular synthesis absolutely fascinating. You take something this raw and then you refine it into something that sounds different yet keeps the core of that rawness and beauty alive. It was absolutely fun to create these presets. But of course, what good is a sound like if you don't test it? So I tried it in my own music, both on the tabletop. <laughs> together with test equipment. And then I tried making a track completely only with these sounds. But then I realized something. Quanta is also available on the iPad. And it's no problem to import these sounds in there. The grain count is a bit more limited, but that's no problem because I designed these a bit with not too many grains, so it would run on slower machines too. And it works absolutely fantastic. Plus it adds a special feature that I love. <laughs> Quanta is MPE, MIDI Polyphonic Expression Compatible. Being able to play these sounds like this made Quanta a game changer for me. Because I've been looking for something to replace the OP1 in my live sets, because that has become too expensive to rely on. I can't really afford to replace it, should this by now 9 year old machine break. So I took Quanta with me to the Netherlands.
the sound pack is available for free on the Audio Damage website. Thanks Adam and Chris for commissioning this video and the sound pack. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below or visit the subreddit and you can find the music to this episode on my Patreon. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>